Hello, happy Passover, or blessed Passover, I like to call it. Because happiness is dependent on circumstances and situations. And friend, viewer, you may be listening to me for these brief moments and saying to yourself, there's nothing really to rejoice or be happy about. Because it happens that for the last 12 months, most of the nations around the globe has been in lockdown. But we thank God that by the grace of God, we are coming out of it. And as we're coming out of it, many people have had lots of losses and challenges. But I want you to know that this is the best season of remembering the birth, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Passover, the season of Passover, or what we call Easter. So I want to share these brief thoughts with you. And I believe that you will be encouraged, you will be blessed as you listen. The scripture that most of us know and we quote off by heart. But I want you to open your Bibles with me and have a look in John chapter 3, 16 and 17. As we remind ourselves for the reason and the purpose for which God came down in a form of his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, to take on himself our sins and to nail it on the cross and to defeat the enemy and take the key of hell, the key of death, to resurrect and rule and reign and triumph with us. Let us remind ourselves the purpose for which God sent Jesus Christ. Come with me to the book of John chapter 3. Wherever you are, just take your Bible. The word of God is powerful. John chapter 3, right? And I'll read. It says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Isn't this encouraging? That God so loved you and I, that he gave Jesus Christ to come to die for us, to save us. We could not save ourselves. There's nothing that we can do to be pleasing in the sight of God. It is only because of what Jesus has done. That's why God can accept us. So this Passover, as we celebrate it, no matter the difficulties, the challenges that you've been through, I want you to experience the love of God. I want you to know that this is the season that God gave his best and his best, his only son, Jesus Christ, to take your place and my place on Calvary. The Bible says in 1 John 5, 12, he that hath the son hath life, and he that hath not the son of God hath not life. This is true life. If you have Jesus Christ, you have life. If you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you this opportunity, wherever you're listening for, to accept Jesus into your heart, to embrace him, to be Lord and master, to direct your path, to lead you in the path of righteousness. You know, the Bible says that when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are saved. What does salvation mean? Salvation means we are delivered from danger. We are freed from prison. We're delivered from captivity and bondage. We're delivered from sicknesses. We're delivered from oppression. We're delivered from curses. This is what God did for us, you and I. But this Passover season, I want you to remember that Jesus has saved you. He saved me. But that is not the end. Jesus saved us too live for him. And that's the message I want to leave with you. That as you go through this Easter Passover period, you will begin to live for Jesus Christ. We need to show gratitude for what he has done for us. Deliverance comes so that we'll be delivered from something to another place. And let us look at the book of Acts chapter 5 from 17 to 25. It says that then the high priest rose up and all they that were with him, which is the sex of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. 
But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest came and they that were with him and called the council together and all the senate of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, The prison truly found we shut with all safety and the keeper standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. 24. Now when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them whereunto this would grow. Then came one of them and told, and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. I want to stop here. I said 27, but I'll just stop at 25. I read 25 again. It says, Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. This is my message to you this Passover season. That Jesus came to die for us, save us from our sin, save you from sickness, disease, infirmity, save you from bondages, and freed us to live a life full of joy, full of peace, a life that is pleasing to him. He's expecting us to live for him, to live his life for him. This happened with the disciples as you hear the scriptures. The Bible says that they were caught and put in prison. But the angel of the Lord went to deliver them. Just like salvation, God has come down in the form of his son to deliver us from our sins. And the Bible says that when they were delivered from prison, they went back to preach the word of God. Child of God, many people want to be delivered from troubles. They want to be delivered from sicknesses. They want to be delivered from poverty. But when they are delivered, when they begin to get a bit of money and food on their table, when they are freed from their sicknesses, they don't want to live for Jesus Christ. But this is a season to remember that Jesus came to save us so that we will live for him. Just like the disciples went back from prison to preach the gospel. And as you decide to do that, to live in righteousness, to live in the love of God, demonstrating the love of God to everybody around, to live preaching the gospel of salvation and bringing souls into the kingdom of God, to live discipling the children of God, preparing them for the Messiah. God is going to pour out much more blessings upon you. So remember this Passover season. Jesus has come to save you so as that you and I will continue to live for him. So may the Lord bless you. I want to just pray with you as I just wrap up this. It's a very, very brief message just to say hello. Remember the Passover season. Remember the salvation that God brought to us in the earth. And remember the salvation is not just from our sin, from our sickness, from our dangers, from our enemies, but a salvation to live for Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my listener and my viewer. I thank you for the gift of salvation. Whoever is listening, if they have not given their life over to you, Father, I am asking in the mighty name of Jesus that you open up their heart. They will acknowledge Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, and they will embrace Jesus to come and live inside them. And Father, I pray that you order their steps into a family of you, Father, a local assembly where they can be taught and brought up in the word of God that their nature and their character would become like Jesus Christ. And they would identify the call and the purpose for which you planted them on earth and fulfill it in the name of Jesus. And as we celebrate this Passover Easter season, we remember that Christ 
is the Passover lamb. That the blood of Jesus Christ will bring deliverance. The blood of Jesus Christ will bring healing. The blood of Jesus Christ will purchase freedom from every torment. And your people will experience peace. Your people will experience joy. And I thank you that as your people receive this brief message, they'll make a decision to live for you because they have been delivered from sins. They have been delivered from their own ways to live for Christ. So I release your blessing upon the viewers and the hearers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Happy Easter and a blessed Passover to you. Bye-bye.